Hi fellow Soundboard fans, my name is Pyux and this is my tutorial on how I import my maps and check them for graphical errors that might occur when I layer the textures in the Soundboard map maker. Ok, first we need a building and hopefully you already know how to construct a simple house in the building editor. In this example I will use my big store building from a custom trailer map. Now we got our house. It's time to export it. You can either export your buildings in TMX or you can just save it as a TBX. I hear that TBX is better if you want to share your building with others. I'll use both in this example. Both of these formats will work in the world editor. After you're done, just click save and remember where you placed your buildings. Now, the world editor. When you start a new project in the world editor, you will get this box. For this example, I will use 1 times 1, which equals 1 lot. So now we're gonna fill this lot with vegetation by using a BMP map. There are already tutorials on this on the forum, but I will attach the PNG that I use in this example in the thread below. All you have to do is to drag and drop the PNG file from the in-game browser on top of the lot. After you've done that, you go to File, BMP to TMX and press All Cells. Now this box should appear. The first column is where you want your map to be placed. The second, the third and the fourth needs a text document that is located in the mapping tool folder. Please pause the video and try to navigate to the right folder and just open the right text in the right place. Before you press OK, be sure that the box that says Assign generated maps to the world is checked. Now press OK and you should get this message. You should be able to double click the cell now and see the nature that you just created. And here comes the fun part. We can now finally import our buildings into the cell. You should be able to drop the TMX and the TBX buildings that you made onto the cell. Okay, this is the final part of the tutorial. Let's import the map to the game. So let's go back to the world view and press file, generate lots and all cells. Attention, before you do this, go into your product soundboy slash media slash maps slash challenging maps slash challenge one. Sheet. And copy the two files in there, lot header, lot pack, to another folder. Just call it backup folder. Yeah. Because they can't be in the same map with a different name. Because the game will just f up and won't load, okay? Now go ahead and save the new map in the challenge 1 folder. The zombie spawn map can be found in a raw map folder in the mapping tool folder. When you get this dialog box, you're done. Now go into your game and start up a last stand challenge 2 and look at your new beautiful map you just created. Thanks for watching guys. And if you want to see more Project Zomboy map creations, be sure to follow my stream on www.twitch.tv slash pukestv. Happy slaughter!